It can be devastating if your pet runs away from home, but there are some ways to help prevent your cat or dog from becoming lost in the first place. One key to making sure your pet doesn't run away is prevention, such as having a fenced-in yard and walking your pet on a leash. Also, make sure your pets have identification, including a collar with contact information. Dogs and cats can also have a microchip implanted. It can be scanned at a shelter to identify your animal. You can get it at any time for your animal. It doesn't matter the age. Um, UPAS does offer microchipping service, as well as all the vet clinics in the area are great for offering that service. And if your furry friend still happens to get loose, there are a lot of things you can do to help get the word out about your lost pet. You're going to want to contact the local shelters, um, including UPAS and the surrounding community, and give them a description, as well as um, print flyers up. Uh, social media is very, very strong right now, and social media is a great way to get the word out you're missing your pet. And then make sure you talk to your neighbors, because sometimes your neighbors will see where um, your pet went. Now, if you happen to find a lost pet, the UPAS officials say it's important to call your local animal shelter and give a description of the animal because maybe somebody has reported it as missing. And by the way, one of the major fundraisers for UPAS is Strut the Mutt. That takes place tomorrow at the Matson Lower Harbor Park in Marquette. You can register uh, probably online. I'm not real sure about that, but you can certainly get a lot more information about the registration at upaws.org. And uh, again, that takes place tomorrow morning.